Do you know how many types of mrudangas are there? How are they different from each other? Let's know everything about the different types of mrudangas in this video. Namaste everyone. My name is Isha Prasad. Welcome to Let's Learn Mrudanga. In my earlier video, I have spoken about what is mrudanga? What does the word mudanga mean? What is it used for? And so on. I hope you have already watched that video. If not, please check out for the description box for the link. In this video, let's learn about different types of mudangas. On a high level, there are two different varieties of mudangas. One is North Indian mudanga, also called Pakwaj and South Indian Mridangas. In South Indian Mridangas, there are four different types. Of the first one is Kuchi or Kaddi Mridanga. Second one being Kappi Mridanga. Third one is Nut and Bolt Mridanga. Fourth one is Shri Mridanga. Let's understand each and every types of Mridanga in detail. This is the traditional mudanga of first time which is called kuchi or kadi mudanga as you might have noticed the body of the shell is made of wood specifically jackwood because of the higher density jackwood is preferred the straps are made of leather specifically it's from ox or buffalo skin. This mudangam is two-headed drum. This right head of the mudanga is actually made of three layers of leather. The outermost layer that you are seeing and the one layer below that is actually made of cow's skin or calf's skin. The innermost layer which is not visible to us that is actually made of goat's skin. As you see, there is a gap over here and in the middle we have something called karane. This is made of iron oxide, manganese, rice and few more key ingredients and a paste made of that. Now, the tiny thin circle around the karane is actually the small area visible of the middle layer. On the middle layer, the karane paste is put so that it will actually produce a metallic sound which is necessary for producing chop. Chapu stands for the stamp or the signature sound. Let me demo that quickly. That was a chop. Now, the outer layer, this is actually called the layer of meat. Let me show. That is called meat. In Mridangam terminology, we say num. In the right head, the outer layer and the middle layer is actually separated with thin sticks thin stick pieces are radially placed all around so that there will be a small gap in between so that the membranes can vibrate to produce the metallic sound you could notice the periphery of this head is actually thicker it is made of ox or buffalo skin. This is the left head which is again made of three layers of leather similar to the right side. The main difference that you could notice here is the karane is missing. In few of the manufacturers right they will introduce a small amount of karane here to get a special sound called ghumki. If the karane part is not introduced here, 
we might have to you know develop the same sound using a paste made of rubber or sooty with water we'll just put a small amount of that here so that it will get a distorted sound nowadays instead of making a paste out of rubber what we do is we also use plumber's putty which is available in stores we will just have to make it into a small round and then you know we just have to paste it over here so that that gunky sound will come instead of this open sound the main syllables that we use in mridanga are a uh, and do when it comes to the left head the second variety is called kappi mridanga that is traditionally from palakkad kerala it is very much similar to the kadi mridanga but the only difference is on the right head instead of using the kadi or the stick particles we will use stone particles or small gravels to maintain the gap between the outermost layer and the middle layer using the stones gives a vibrant sound or a metallic sound this is the third type of mudanga called nut and bolt mudanga instead of the leather straps we have used nut and bolt to fix the drum heads as there is no connection between the left and the right drum heads it's easier to tune them independently or even replace them independently here with the nut the bolt is actually tapered into a hook so it's easier to hold them hold the uh, drum head easily you know, with a very good grip the advantage being you just have to take a spanner and tighten it to increase the pitch and loosen it to decrease the pitch very simple for the tuning the fourth variety or the latest one is called shri mudanga this is a vegan variety of the instrument developed by karunya musicals bangalore this was invented by dr k varadarangan who himself is a well established carnatic vocalist and a scientist in this mudanga there is no tree or animal parts used in the construction the very body or the shell of the mudangam is made of fiber glass and the drum heads are synthetic for the tuning and all it's very well designed it's not going to take a uh, much bigger hooks as we saw in the nut and bolt mudanga but the same principle of nut and bolt is used in here so you can easily tighten it to increase the pitch Uh, loosen it to lower the pitch and what you could notice is as it is made of fiber glass it's not going to be heavy weight so it is very light weight so it's more handy and even for the transport it's more easier there is one more big advantage when it comes to shri mudanga there is no maintenance needed for this nothing to do with the humidity or the temperature while playing on the concert or you know when it's on the shelf now one more big advantage is we need not have to go for many number of mridangas to cover the pitch ranges only two mridangas one a big one which will range from b to d d sharp and the small one which is the ladies pitch mudanga which will actually range from say e to a sharp so only two mudangams are needed to cover the entire pitch and it's very easy to tune it's very faster to tune so we don't need to have a collection of mudangas 
when it comes to the Sri Mridanga. This is the right head of Sri Mridanga. You notice that the design is similar to that of traditional one, but the material is completely synthetic. There is no animal skin used here. There is a karane and the outer layer and instead of the sticks they have used the plastic parts. And one thing to notice is nut and bolt mridangam on the traditional side the hooks are actually protruding which might actually hit our hand which might get hurt. But over here it is not so. It is very smooth here. It's not even protruding. So it's very well designed I must say. So for playing or keeping the fingers or resting it like this is so easy and produces very good sound. Now let us see a quick demonstration of different types of murdangas. I will play the same single cycle Nade Muktaya on each of the murdangas so that you could see how they differ from each other. Kuchi Mridanga Nut and Bolt Mridanga The Small Nut and Bolt Mridanga of Higher Pitch Shri Mridanga These were the different kinds of mridangams. Are you aware of any other kind? Please do let us know in the comment section below. I would love to know about it. Which type of mridanga do you have currently? Or planning to buy one? Let us know about it in the comment section as well. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Namaste.